Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and activate the notifications by clicking on that bell icon below. So this is a different setup. <laughs> so as you already know, if you've been to this channel before, I love art and I am a huge fan of Thalia. So Thalia released a eyeshadow line. And I said, what the heck, let me buy it and see what it's all about. I don't typically buy makeup. I think the last palette I bought was the Frida Kahlo one because I'm obsessed, super obsessed with Frida. But I do like to watch makeup tutorials for some reason. And I used to watch Jeffree Star a lot, uh, James Charles I've watched, Rosie McMichaels, I think I've seen her stuff. So it's fairly small. I love popping this. I forgot how much this was, but I think it was like 40 something. So I don't know if that's an appropriate price or whatever. So let's see. It has a Viva because of her Viva tour name. I guess that's why the flamingos from her music video with Lali. Lindo Pero Bruto had all the flamingos in it. Okay, so it's not only eyeshadow, it's contour, blush, highlight, and then it has six eyeshadows. So one thing that the beauty girls love to do is swatches. So let's see the swatch. The first color on here is called Hottie. I actually identified myself with that name. So it's very pigmented. I saw Rosie McMichaels swatch it and hers didn't swatch like this. I think she might have done it really lightly to give like a bad review. This is actually very pigmented. Next one is Rhythm. Okay, yeah, this one is not as saturated as Hottie. The next one is Heat. Oh, this one's kind of like um, a shimmer of sorts. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I can see it here. The next one is Splash, which is like a turquoise color, and I love turquoise. There is a little bit of fallout. But that looks cool, very shimmery. Then the next one is called Sass. It's like a little beige color. I think I'm running out of arm space. It's very like translucent, like a nude, I guess. And then Frisky, another glittery one. Ooh, that one's bold. Then Flirt, which I love to do. It's very creamy. So do I look at the camera or at my arm? And then the last one is Sunbeam. It's like a yellow and I love yellows. Okay, yeah, that Sunbeam, it's not very, I guess it's a very light one, but there you have it. Last time I tried this, it, it was horrible, but I, I've always felt like just because I paint and I'm an artist that I could like do like makeup because it's like painting, except you're doing it on a face. Last time I felt miserably, so I'm gonna try it again, see if I can do it this time. Oh, I, oh, I forgot, it has the contour, the blush, and the highlight, so let's do the contour. That one's not too dark, but I guess you don't want it that dark. And then the blush. Okay, the blush are very light and the contour, but I don't know, those things have to be light, right? And then the highlight. It's contour, blush, and then highlight. Alright, so I'm going to come up with some sort of look inspired by this palette. I'm really digging, like, the rosy ones. Or maybe just try all of them, I don't know. I don't know which ones to start with. Do you start with light and then dark, or vice versa? Well, I'm going to start with Risky, which is this one right here. How do you get both eyes to be the same? I guess these are meant to be translucent, but it does layer nicely. Just add some rhythm. I 
I have the right brush for this stuff. This is hard. I guess I should have done this under someone's supervision. Oh, this one's cool. The heat one is cool. I'm gonna go for an editorial look, which means that you can't mess up, right? I guess you just have to take your time, kind of like painting. You can't just rush a good painting. You have to take your time with it. Same thing with this. I guess I need a highlight above the eye eyebrow. And luckily for me, this has a highlight. <laughs> Or should I take it up? Interesting, interesting. So I'm gonna use the contour to make my eyebrow darker. Or you know what? And the hottie color. See what that does. Oh, it does look for the eyebrow. So I darkened the eyebrow with the hottie eyeshadow. I'm done with that. I think it just needs... See, but if you had hooded eyelids, what's the point of doing it? Because it all goes inside your eye. You really don't see it. I think I need some eyeliner. This is not her brand, so I'm not going to mention the brand. Oops. How do you do it with not... Shaking your hand or making... Like a straight line. Well, I already messed it up. How do I fix it? I don't know how to fix it. Can I cover it up? I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll do two lines versus one. Oh, I just made it thicker. So I covered all my work. All that hard work for nothing. Okay. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Since I have a hooded eye, if I close it, it's gonna stain everything. Now I'll send mascara. This stuff expires, right? Oh, son of a... That hurt. Ow. So this is my favorite part and I do this in painting too, especially if I'm painting with watercolor. I put tape along the lines where I don't want there to be paint. So I did this here too. So now I'm going to yank it off. Whoa, look at that clean finish. That looks dope. I like that. Now all this fallout. I'm just going to blend it in. I think I went too high. Pleasantly surprised with this eye actually. So I'm now, I'm going to do the other one off camera and I'm probably going to do it different because I don't think I could get, redo the same effect on this as I did on this one. But let me get that done and I'll come back. Alright, so I'm done. Actually, this is, this side was a lot easier to make, but obviously they're still not the same. <laughs> but I, I attempted. Final thoughts. Uh, it's a good palette. I like the colors. They work very well together. They're buildable. They blend well. There is a little bit of fallout, but they are pigmented very nicely. I don't, I think it's great. I mean, I don't know if how much, I think it was 45. I don't know if that's cheap or expensive when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, but I mean, if you're a fan, obviously you're going to buy the product. And I mean, I have nothing bad to say about it, but I'm not a <laughs> heavy makeup user. But anyway, let me know if you have it, where your thoughts are on it, and I guess that's it for now. Tell me what you thought about the final look. Please follow me on Instagram, and that's it for today's video. Subscribe, and watch all the other content in my channel. Until next time, adios, y bye.